Now I want to pick up some good news. This morning, Queensland Opposition Leader David Christofulli announced his party no longer supports the Labor government's proposed treaty laws, saying that the path to treaty will only create further division. It appears Chris Afouli, unlike those in the Albanese government and state Labor governments around the country, has read the room after Saturday's historic result. Here's what the Premier had to say today. Uh, well, I think you need to speak to him to hear firsthand uh, why he is uh, going against uh, what he said very clearly in the parliament he was going to do. Well, the next stage is truth-telling, and that's a three- to four-year process, and that's something that was voted on on a bipartisan manner in the Queensland Parliament. And I urge you to go and look at all of the statements and the comments that were made in the speeches up in Cairns. Joining me now, David Christofulli, himself from Queensland. David, we'll get to the Premier in a moment, but tell us why the LNP that you lead can no longer support a treaty. Peter, because when Queenslanders speak, leaders should listen, and Queenslanders spoke, and I can tell you I heard them. Now, uh, what I don't want to do, having reflected on what's happened and having seen what I think would probably be the most divisive debate I've ever seen in my time in public life, I, I just don't want to put my state through what I have seen the nation put through. Now, you mentioned the Albanese government. Um, the Prime Minister was warned on multiple occasions in the last six months that if he continued down this path, this is what would occur. This is the kind of division that would occur. Well, I'm not going to make the same mistake as the Prime Minister. And right now, Queenslanders need to make sure that they understand we are serious about uniting the country. I am serious about delivering infrastructure for Indigenous communities. It has to be done with everybody united and focused, and that's why I've listened to the message. Um, I just want to say to David, as we go to air, there's late-breaking news that there has been called uh, in Queensland a snap meeting of the Labor caucus. I'm told the left faction are furious that she appears to be walking back the treaty commitment. Of course, she's trying to make the issue about you, but uh, the factions have dragged her in. It's interesting, you know, seven out of 10 Queenslanders on Saturday night rejected the voice. Who runs the state up there? Is it the Premier or the factions? I think you know the answer to that, and so do Queenslanders. It is a govern, government driven by factions. Uh, what I want to do is say to Queenslanders that my priorities are Queenslanders' priorities. And what I want to do is focus on the things that Queenslanders are telling me about. And first and foremost is they want to see us united, not divided. And that's why I've taken this stance, having listened really, really carefully and, and, and reflecting those views. I also want Queenslanders to know that my laser-like focus won't change. Uh, I want to see an end to the youth crime crisis. I want to see an end to the housing crisis, the health crisis and the cost of living crisis. All of those things are magnified here in Queensland because the government has been so racked with chaos and crisis, because there is the infighting, because there is that factional warlords. And what's going on in the caucus of the Labor Party has no interest for me. I want Queenslanders to know that my focus is on the things that matter to them and their families, and their priorities are my priorities. In Canberra, Jacinta Price has called for a royal commission into child sexual abuse in remote Indigenous communities. Queensland, of course, has a number of those communities. Do you support a royal commission? Peter, I think you have to look at Jacinta and in her you see someone who is fair income. And when she's speaking about that, she's talking about it from lived experience and she's talking about it from someone who really cares about doing something for those Indigenous communities. And I put Peter Dutton in the same camp, someone who is a person of great morals. So when they say something like that, I listen. Now, the things that I control are where the money from Queensland is being spent in those communities. And I know a lot of money is spent at the moment in Indigenous communities, but there hasn't been a lot of review about the value that those communities are getting. Now, Part of this process I want to do is shine a light on the dysfunctionality and the fact that 
in many cases, we are seeing housing rates go backwards, education rates go backwards, home ownership isn't an option, and we've got to get fair income about mm. this. So my focus is on no division, and this process would have delivered that. So uh, we're being really, really firm and saying uh, we're not going to make the same mistake as Mr Albanese. But I can tell you something, we are not going to allow the unfettered expenditure from other groups that are coming into these communities and not delivering for the people on the ground. And I think that's what would unite all Queenslanders and all Australians to know that we are fair income about doing something in these remote communities. Well, I think you're on the side of 70% of Queenslanders uh, walking away from that treaty process. Uh, let's see what the factions tell the Premier to do when that meeting breaks up tonight. David Christofoli, thank you. Thanks for your time, Peter.